Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you a new product from our mini catalog. It's called Enduring Beauty Decorative Mask. And they're right here. Let me show you the picture that's actually in the mini catalog. It actually is a suite that you can get with Stampin' Up! that includes the stamp set and the dies and the mask. But what I'm going to show you today is just the mask and the cool things that you can do with it. It also, if you use the stamp, the big flower stamp, you can mask the different colors right in there and you just lay it over. You can get that look with your blending brushes. So let me show you how they work. And I'm going to go ahead and use the, the numbers on here. And what I did, it comes clear, but it's like raised up. I went ahead and darkened that with a Sharpie just so I could see them better for this video. I'm going to start with these colors. The Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, and Granny Apple Green. So I'm actually starting with the lightest color first which is the, the Flirty Flamingo. And this is just the flower part of them. If you look at them, you can decide what way that you want them to face. But I'm just going to put them right in the center like this. And I'm going to start with my pink, the Flirty Flamingo. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this and just kind of tap it off because I want it very light. This is just the color background of the flower. So I don't want it really dark because we're going to put the actual definition of the flower on top of it. So we're just getting a very light flirty flamingo color. And I'm going to lift that up and say, oh, that's good. All right. Then I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to go to number two. And the reason why I'm going to go to number two is that's just the way that they're telling us to do that. And it fits right in here, like so. You can see I'm just doing the shadow of the flower to know exactly where to put it. All right, so I'm going to start with the Granny Apple Green next. And number two is just the greenery. I'm going to do that one light also because this has definition to it too. Sometimes they kind of move, but this is very forgiving because I'm doing the softer look of the mask. I just want it to be super soft so it's okay that it's not super bright. You can do it brighter if you want. I just want to do a soft looking mask effect. So I'm getting the granny apple green in there for the leaves. So I've got that. And the Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to set number two aside. And we're going to go to number three. Now this is the definition on top of the flowers. So I'm going to go back to Flirty Flamingo. And actually, no, I'm going to Fresh Freesia for the definition of the flowers. I love this color, Fresh Freesia. So I'm going to also tap to get some of this off because you can always add more color, but it's hard to take, it, you can't take it away. So I'm just moving this so I make sure I get it in the right spot. Just follow the edges and you can line it up really easily. Tap it and then just go around with the Fresh Freesia over the Flirty Flamingo. Now this is going to give definition to your flower. And I love how this look. But the other part of the um, Flirty Flamingo is covered up, so you'll get the pink on there too. Okay, there's our definition of the flower. Super soft right now. All right, those are all the lighter. Now we're going to go in with the darker. I'm going to go ahead and this is for our leaves, for the actual flowers. So I'm just lining this up. And you'll notice there's also some stems in there too to line up that you have the stems from the leaves that work. And this might just take a little bit of time to line up, but once you get it lined up, it will be fine. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back to the, the green, the granny apple green. Now I wanna go straight on there because I want this darker. I'm not gonna pat it off at all. So I want it to be darker, granny apple green, and it will give that definition to the leaves. And remember the stems too, you wanna get those in there. Okay, let's lift that up. Magic, look how pretty that looks. Super soft. Oh, I just love that. Okay, let me show you the next step is like the little icing on the cake. We're gonna just do melon mambo on the top for the inside of the flower. A little darker color, number five. And this also goes right like in the center of the flower or the side of the flower. So I'm just looking and it's pretty forgiving. You don't have to have it exact where it's gonna be. It's okay if it's off a little bit. I'm just looking to see. I've gotta turn this a little bit like that. Okay, I've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this strong because I want it to look very strong on the pink. So I'm not even blotting it off. If you want it lighter, you can blot it off. That's the cool thing about using the mask and using these blending brushes. Okay, look at those. Oh, isn't that cool? Let me show you a card that I did with these right here, this exact same look. Here's the card I used, or I did. I went ahead and put some really Wink of Stella on there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's some shimmer on there. And I used this stamp set, Enduring Beauty, to go ahead and do the sayings. It's a, I love it, it's super nice. I wanna show you some alternative ways to use this mask, not just for this, the flowers. So let me show you what I did to get some different looks. Okay, this, I just took this mask, number five, and obviously I just put this in water to get the color off. And I just wanted to do three of each color, and then with the green, the green apple green, I did more. And I just created a background. Somebody said this would be fun to go ahead and use for Get Well Soon. It looks like COVID spots. So, or you could just use it like for a 70s look or 80s look. All right, here's another one where I just use the definition of the leaves to make a background. Just lightly, you could do it, you know, brighter if you want to or not. So those are just leaves for the background. And here's a really soft look right here of just using the flower definition. I didn't even do the flower part where it's solid. I just did the definition, but I love this. And somebody said, oh, that looks kind of like tile. You could do it like in the grays and stuff and kind of get let, like that tile look if you want to. I love that you can use alternative methods with these masks. Let me show you, go back to our mini catalog again and show you that there is a bundle that I talked about at first. To get this bundle, you can go ahead and get the three items, which are the mask, the dies, and the stamp set. And then they're over $50, they're $50.75, and then you get a free product during celebration till February 29th. So I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the different ways you can use your mask. If you're interested in buying any of these products, click the links below. And if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.